Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. And uh, I'm very happy to be with you today, as always. Uh, I'm not tired. There's something you have to be sure. And you have to rise to my fatigue. Or my lack of fatigue. Hazrat Umar ibn Khattab, right? You have to rise. To be elevated by your motivation which can enable you to save the problem of all those children. To become an elevator, Sister Jabin. You know when you become an elevator? When you are an elevator, you motivate people and to carry them up to your level. Elevator is not just a machine. It's a dynamic in our life comes from your Iman and from your Iman and from your Iman which is belief. The more Iman or belief we have, the more horsepower we have in our elevating machine. Which is not elevating our moral system, but elevating the dreams of the society that we are serving. First of all, you have to identify and define who you are. Who you are? Wrong. 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 You don't know. Wrong. <laughs> you, who you are? Master. Eh? Muslim? Okay. <laughs> Elevator, okay. <laughs> huh? We have something in common. What, what's between you and me? Volunteer? <laughs> ah. You have to be smart. You are servants. No matter who you are, Muslim or Christian or Mayr or Omar or Habiba or Jibir. Your role in life is to become a servant. So you bend your back to elevate the community that you are trying or you are claiming that you are serving. This is who you are. The prophets of God and messengers of God were servants for humanity. They elevated every corner of humanity and led them to stand up for justice, morality, fairness, and equality. Some of those messengers have been tortured, killed, but some not. But each and every one of them saved his community and saved humanity. So who you are now? In one voice, who you are? Servants. Of whom? Of God, of humanity. Because sometimes I could be serving myself. That's right, Hazrat Omar, Rajalan. May Allah be pleased with you. Amin, say Amin. Very good. So when we started in my first 33 years of my life, I have got three 33 years in my life. My journey, as he is talking about my journey. In the first leg of my journey, the first 33 of my years of my life, the last quarter, I decided to come to England to live. Because I used to be a medical doctor. I came to England without knowing what my future would be. No plan, no strategy. No, even dream. The only dream was to have a, my membership or fellowship degree and go back to where I came from to become a doctor, a husband, and a clinician, whatever you call it. But I did not understand that Allah has planned something else for me. So at the age of 33, we started the journey, which is the second 33 years of my life. 
which was Islamic relief for the 20 pence, as uh, Brother Munim was talking about. From a nine years old boy who donated his chocolate money. He beat in all of us. You people have not seen the good old days. The no desk, no telephone, no office, no budget. No, 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 no. The period of the nothing. It is the most powerful, powerful source of elevation. It's the period of nothing you have. Nothing you give. Nothing to surround you, because you are no one. When you are no one, nobody will take care of you or will notice you. This is the period of the 20 pence, which beaten all of us in this room. Not because you are Canadian and you speak two, three languages and you have quite a few degrees, but very good, we need it. But you have not seen the nothing period. You have to live the spirit of the nothing period, which started 35 years ago. So the first baby have been born on 17 January 1984, on Tuesday, half past five in the evening, half past six, rather than <laughs> Okay? The second 33 years of my life started with Islamic belief. But always, at the last quarter of it, I have to jump out to do something else, which is actually uh, 2008. When Islamic League became a mature organization, you have to leave it to credible, trusted people to run it. And since 2008, Islamic League did not sink because she kept thinking. When you don't think, you sink. And when you sink, you sink. What happened after you sink? You dance. What happened after you dance? You're answering me, I'm talking to you. <laughs> You're just a beautiful I've face. I've already sunk. You've already sunk. Okay. So, alhamdulillah, I went to many, many initiatives, one of them humanitarian, to try to look at different, different dimensions of humanitarian response, which is advocacy, communication, connection, capacity building, all these sort of things, which most of us ignore it. Most of the organization ignoring it, and we cannot raise funds for it. So the third 33 years of my life started 2016 with the World Humanitarian Summit, which was a major player of organizing 40, 39 consultations in, 30, uh, in 36 countries. Tunisia was one of them. Ah, oh, okay, sir. <laughs> Viva la Tunisia. <laughs> because I came from Tunisia, I came from the mother of the world. What's the, what's the mother of the whole world? Umm al Right? So, after 2016, there's another dimension of the humanitarian response globally, actually, by United Nations, and we were leading it. Coming back to Islamic Relief, when you present it, Islamic Relief is not a desk, not an image, it's not a social media, it's not a project, it's not a budget, it's not fundraising. Islamic Relief is all that and a dream. If you claim that over the last 35 years you helped with 170 million people, that is a challenge now is 170 million dreams. Did you fulfill their dreams or not? This is where you make yourself accountable to those miserably looking children our women and men have no shoes on their feet, rotten clothes, 
even cannot shake your hand because your hand is dirty. We claim that we held 170 million, but did we respond to their dreams or not? Did we fulfill their dreams or not? Did we stand to their aspiration or not? Or we are just talkers, jokers, and media savvy to put some of these images on our Facebook or Twitter pages or whatever you call it. You have to ask yourself what I am doing here. Why I came here is to go to crack stories, jokes about my journey, about the people that I felt pity for visiting them. Oh my God, they look miserably. They are paying our salaries, paying the food for my children, paying the school fees for my children, paying for me and my wife. They are the masters, not you, not me. This is when you put the pyramid on its base, not on its head, on its peak. Those people who are going to see tomorrow and over the coming few days are the people who are employing Yusuf, Menem, and Zizu in Canada, which is Zayd. Even paying the cost of the meetings of the board members who claim that they are the governor of the organization. Now, the meeting has been paid by those miserably looking young boys and girls. So know who is the owner of the organization that you are serving. You are a servant. The one who is served is the master of my life. The one we approach is the guidance for me because he is the one who will take me by the hand and save me before Allah. Without him or him or them, I could be at the edge of the cliff to fall into hell fire. But this miserable looking young boy or a girl will come and pull me. Then Allah, Allah, no. No, not him, not her. He did, and Allah knows. But Allah will respond to the favor of this little miserably looking boy and the girl. She was talking about him in the safe garden. When we look at them, when we talk to them, when we be with them, we should be, feel pity for them. But we should feel, feel pity for ourselves because we're not doing much. We think that in the hour and the day is 24 hours. No. It's 48 hours, it's 96 hours, it's 128 hours. It depends what you want to do during your day as achievement. Because you can achieve in a minute what I can achieve in a year. Because your heart is different to my heart. Your soul is different to my soul. Your spirit is different to my spirit. So Allah will stand or God will stand next to you to speed up the process of achievement. You know why? Because those people who serve say thank you from their heart to you. This is the mission. We're not talking about projects we need, but we're talking about advocacy we do. You know, one of the greatest ayah of the Quran, and the Quran is full of great ayahs, on all of its great eyes, like the Bible, like the Torah, and the others, is The one who denies the day of judgment is not a believer. And such a one is the, that is, it, who is like him is the one who treats the orphans badly and the one who does not advocate for the cause of the needy. رأيت الذي يكذب بالدين فذلك الذي يدعو اليتيم ولا يحض على طعام المسكين does not advocate for the need of the needy and raise the fund to feed him or her. Do you want to be an advocate? 
It's your role as a servant. I am the poor man. You stand up, you rise, you elevate me, because you are an elevator. It's a serious mission. It's a job. Not a few photographs and video shots that we're going to take with us when we go back home and we talk to our brothers and sisters and family. Oh, yeah, I was a champion. I'm not a champion. I've been blessed to come here because those little girls and boys want you to be with them. Want you to be with them, not just to visit them. You know the difference between being with them and visiting them. This is the feeling. Your work is not about sharing your feeling with the feeling of others or sharing the feeling of others with you and with others. This is the mission that you need to take over the coming 33 years of my life, which I might not live, but you will live. And you will live. And you will live. And you will live. If I fall dead now, you bury me here. I agree with my wife, Yusuf, whatever I am, don't send me back. And you pray on me, the last prayer, but you carry the mission. Not only Sir Habiba, or Jabin, or Michael, or whatever you call them, or uh, uh, Imran, Imran <laughs> or uh, Aisha. Why did you say something else? It's an issue. <laughs> huh? It is to carry on the mission of Jesus. Peace be upon him. The mission of Moses. Peace be upon him. The mission of Muhammad. Allah. They are dead. Where are we if we don't carry the mission? And this is what we need you to come here and go back with the people of the mission of people. The people of the mission of humanity for humanity. You have no blood relationship with the people you're going to visit tomorrow. Isn't it? No ethnic connection. No, no, no connection. But the only connection between you and them is you are human being. And they are human being. They have the right to live your life and they, you have the right to share your field and fulfill their dreams. Omar was not just a name. It was a criteria of a character which brought justice, fairness, and equality. It's not just a name. Jesus is not a name. Moses is not a name. Solomon is not a name. It's mission. It's dreams at the back of the mind of all those which let you to stand up at night to worship Allah, to thank Him for the teaching of them to you. You know, the one who stands at night to worship God is the one that God wake him up and tell him, wakey, 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 wakey. God knock your door. Wake up. <laughs> Are you wake up? Very good. <laughs> wakey, wakey. The lucky one is the one who will wake up. The unlucky one, like myself, the one who will <laughs> snoring. The most beautiful hour of the day when God come and knock your door, your bedroom door. How many bedrooms on the earth? When Allah comes at that time to knock the door of every one of us and tell them, wake up and call me. Wake up and ask me. Wake up, I give you. Your name is in the Quran, isn't it, Mr. Amran? But your family name, not your name. Your family is Narani. No, no, Al Amran. Al Amran, yes, yeah, sorry. Thank you. So I don't want to carry on because you, 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 whatever it is. <laughs> <laughs> and I love you, and I'll be with you. And I want you to challenge me. That was a twinkle.
<laughs> challenge me with the work and work me up and they work you up and sit me down and sit you down and they learn from you and they learn from you it's one way system I came here to learn from you people not the other way around Jazakumullah khair Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh